Science and higher education are key for expanding human knowledge, enhancing society's capacity for self-reflection and finding solutions to pressing challenges. Academic freedom is a universal right and fundamental to scientific progress and the pursuit of truth. If students and scholars can't study and engage in research freely, the world's biggest problems cannot be solved. 171 countries have committed to safeguarding the freedom indispensable for scientific research. But not all universities around the world are free institutions, and some academics experience negative repercussions because of their work. From self-censorship and surveillance in classrooms, to regulations that ban research or outright violent repression, these are just some examples of how academic freedom gets stifled around the world. How free are students and scholars in pursuing their studies and research? To understand this, researchers in Germany and Sweden have joined forces with experts around the world to develop an Academic Freedom Index, a dataset that quantifies the levels of academic freedom worldwide. We've discovered that almost 80% of the world's population currently live in countries where academic freedom is not well protected in practice. How do we know? The index assesses academic freedom by looking at five key indicators. Academic freedom means that individual researchers can pursue their curiosity without interference or restrictions. This is what we call the freedom of scholars to research and teach. Academic freedom also includes the freedom to share one's research findings with the public and to exchange ideas with other scientists. Academic freedom entails that universities have institutional autonomy and can take independent decisions including how to invest resources or who to partner with. Academic freedom is also about safety. Students and professors should be free from surveillance and harassment on campus including on digital learning platforms. And the index includes an indicator that captures scholars' freedom to express themselves on current events or political issues. So far, data is available for 175 countries and territories for the time span between 1900 and 2020. Each country and year get assessed by several independent experts who are usually academics based in that country. Of course, experts are not perfect in their assessments. To reduce biases and improve comparability, the Academic Freedom Index relies on a state-of-the-art statistical model that the VDEM project developed for their large social science dataset on democracy. The VDEM model considers each expert assessment individually and attributes more weight to experts who are identified as most reliable. We also continuously invite more experts to contribute to the index and help us improve the databases. So far, about 2,000 country experts around the world have helped paint the most comprehensive global picture that exists of academic freedom to date. One of the most valuable features of the data is that we can also trace how academic freedom has evolved in individual countries over time. Like in this example of Turkey. This data is open access and can be downloaded by anyone for further analysis. Who might find it particularly useful? Scientists, who want to research how and why academic freedom increases or declines. University leaders who want to guard academic freedom in their own institutions and build partnerships with universities in other countries. Policy makers who seek to promote academic freedom or engage in international science diplomacy. Research funders who seek to better understand the context of different research projects. And of course, scholars and students who plan to study or work abroad and want to understand what kind of environment they will encounter. Academic freedom is a universal right and common good. We hope that better knowledge on the state of academic freedom in the world will have a cascading effect. 
that it will spark meaningful public debates on academic freedom infringements and inspire action. The ultimate goal of the Academic Freedom Index is to expand the global conversation on science and scholarship in a way that reflects the importance of academic freedom. Visit our websites where you can check out the data, spread the word, learn about recommendations for putting the index into action, and find case studies and guidelines for your own research. And learn more about scholars at risk. <laughs>